Hey guys, it's Wolf Lopez here, back with another video. This is going to be Polygon Matic price prediction for 2021. Okay, so I catched um, Polygon at 20 cents, like here, this deep, and made some profit and you know sold it. I think that Polygon is very very good but i found like a better investment for myself because even though i think that some coins are going to go up i think that they're still going to be you have to know what you're holding and to be honest i don't know that much about polygon but i just you know researched it uh, like a day and then bought it but i don't feel like confident holding it but that doesn't mean the investment is bad or good that's just my opinion okay so like i think that let's but let's dive deep dive deep into the matic uh, price prediction and we are going to use token metrics this is a tool you can find fundamental analysis technology analysis like summaries of what the technology is and all that so let's dive deep into it and let's see what's going to happen but you can find it on Binance Coinbase anywhere okay so 44 cents currently so basically the price doubled here um, a lot of people have been like talking about Matic for for a long time now I have heard Matic through all this like through the whole year uh, and yeah I've been still he hearing a lot about it so I decided to buy the 20 cents and send sold it but let's go let's go guys so the first thing that we're going to use is going to token metrics to check out the price prediction that the machine learning is uh, pointing out okay so this is what machine learning thinks that the magic is currently valued so 30 cents okay which is which is very good because if you would have came here um, earlier you could see like that's it. But anyway, so currently the price 44 cents. It thinks that it's a bit overpriced currently. By the way, this uses past data to uh, do these predictions. And so far, I think that this has been scarily accurate. But I'm not going to um, dive into more deep de de detail into that because we are going to now dive into the fundamentals. So fundamental score 83%. Very good. This is what I love to see. So Matic Network has a lot of volume because it is found on most top exchanges, including Binance. That is very good point. Uh, liquidity is like if it's on many exchanges, there's going to be so many more buyers. So more. Uh, the price will increase so it has excellent liquidity to get in and out of positions for very quickly looking at the scarcity metric scarcity metric network is both deflationary and has token burn which is turn will drive the token price upward in the future they will burn a percentage of the transaction fee in every block additionally it allows ethereum dApps to scale because it uses an adapted version of plasma po's based side chains so side chains are going to be huge that is a new like uh, trend that i'm currently seeing all the time but it helps you to scale your dApps massively, you can use, you can even use your tokens as settlement fees to run the network. Also, it's provide SDKs and APIs for fast and easy development. Looking at its repetition, the project has a lot of reputable investors, has public videos of team and good job explaining the future vision in the white paper. In terms of marketing, it has a vast community and gets many websites views each month. Okay, so that's the summary. Very good. You can see, see the uh, team here. More related links here's more information scarcity good market standing good development good liquidity good marketing good reputation good security and team good you can see the data points here that they use but everything seems to be good because if you start like of course these are not 100% going to going to you know be like what it is but uh, if you start contrasting and if you come here and check out different coins let's say that you check out in a day, you check like 10 different coins. So you can start seeing that if uh, th this is the, like cryptocurrencies are competition, man. It's like a holy war out there. People are shilling their bags. People are screaming like people are losing money, making money. It's crazy. It's a war out there. Okay. So if you, in th that's that standpoint, start looking at it. Um, you can see that if someone has like 50% better stats here, I think that that's fairly huge advantage okay of course that doesn't mean and it's like the only thing that i look but i i like to see that the scores are at least somewhat high because the, it's it's the competition is brutal competition is brutal out there technology just moves so fast so magic here technology very good stuff here eight nine fifteen five five seven very good stuff here so key features and highlights scalability fast low cost and secure transactions on matic sidechains with finality achieved on mainnet and ethereum as the first compatible layer one basis 
high throughput maxive 10,000 TPS on a single sidechain on internet testnet multiple chains to be added for horizontal scaling user experience smooth UX and developer abstraction from the main the Matic chain native mobile apps and SDK with wallet connection super security Matic chain operates are uh, themselves stakers in both of the ecosystem public charge chain blah, blah, blah. I'm going to greet this whole thing okay but it looks very very promising and I still don't think that um it's like I made some profit trading the Matic. I currently hold, don't hold any Matic, but I if I like if I would have dive deep into Matic, I think that I would invest in it. Okay, even though it has pumped a lot, if you like look at the how much it's pumped. Um, but I these days I just look at like projects that I think that the team is good. They have like very good roadmap, like they communicate their message okay because it's a it's a it's a uh, business there and i'll also look in like what the business does to help the customer because the customer is going to ultimately decide it for example ethereum um ethereum is a uh, if you start if you use yourself ethereum you see that it's it's a uh, horrible okay uh, but a lot of people don't use ethereum they just assume that it's the new technology so they just think that ethereum it is okay and that's why I don't currently like I don't invest in these type of coins because I can't like I ha I would have to do so much more research. What I like to do is find projects that I like and I like see their vision and it matches my my vision and my strengths and what I what I think that will happen and I will uh, invest in those companies because uh, I want to see this. I I think that the, uh, a lot of these cryptocurrencies they don't operate well like with the business side they can like because now everybody can get the funding but if there's a project that has survived bear market and uh, you know it's this is from 2019 uh, it like kind of survived the bear market here but still uh, it was like made made in the bear market but there's I, I I feel more confident for projects that really survived the bear market like take to like they really survived it and you know I think that those are like the longer longer term for me of course I think that polygon is is a very good maybe I just don't know enough about it okay but uh, of course I can't dive deep on all of the coins here but I love to just do these videos and this is my channel so I upload basically what I want here but 90 so 89% technology score and 83% fundamental score. Very good scores. I rarely, rarely guys see approach. I've been using this a lot, this tool, and I rarely see this kind of results. Uh, something that have got similar scores is like synthetics and Bitcoin, basically. Okay, has got this good score. So I think that this looks fairly, very promising. And it has been increasing in price very, fairly good. So that's nice. So I think that the Ethereum situation right now this Ethereum is basically a broken project. I just like it's just crazy. I don't like if the, if there's going to, if if this polygon can solve that problem, that would be crazy. It would be a huge opportunity. But I don't currently feel I don't I don't see that. So maybe I just maybe I'm maybe I'm just behind the technology guys here. But the, I just don't feel it. Like comment down below if you feel that Ethereum is going to survive or if it's not going to survive. Of course you can play the both packs. Like of course. But I don't feel confident, so that's why I'm not playing it on this pack. But I do hold Ethereum though, so I, I'm a bit of uh, like on the both sides here. But what do you guys think? I think that it's... We are just so early, guys. I think that I have been taking this cryptocurrency way too serious. We are just so early. If you look at the dot-com booms and what um, a lot of smart people say that um, is that if you look at like people are very always rushing into investing in things if you look at company let's say this is 10 years if you look at the company and it starts just to like rise like crazy and you just you don't buy you don't you don't you don't buy here you just watch for years like you just watch for three years without owning the stock or owning the cryptocurrency and after that you have you are so confident in the investment because they have made all this progress and you have like watched it for three years. Now you feel confident here investing here, even though it's like a it's like a peak. But you're so confident for that it will do better in the longer term. So that's all that matters. 
So you can still make crazy gains and be more, be more uh, confident about your investments. I think that that's very that's what I, that's what I'm like currently trying to do here. But I'm just you know watching all these options here, like a snake in the grass, and then just you know <laughs> jumping out there when I see the potential. Okay, I, that's what I'm basically doing. Because I'm not in the rush in investing all these coins, all of these things. I just want to, I want to get more in depth, like with the cryptocurrency and learn as many many as much as I can about them. Token metrics is a fantastic tool. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to use this tool even at the first place. But yeah, an internet, there's just so much, so much stuff that I'm here for the long term play here. Okay, guys, so um, some people don't like these videos because these are very like, uh, I don't like do like very, I don't, I don't like to do hype, like very hypey stuff because I think that all, so, so many projects currently are overvalued now and people are, <laughs> You know, really here, a lot of new beginners come here and are very uh, bullish on cryptocurrencies that cryptocurrencies will go to the moon without ever um, coming down. And I think that that's just dangerous <laughs> because the bear market that I remember, it was soul crushing. It's just like, it's just from this point, this, the contrast is just crazy. It's just crazy. Maybe I'm just having flashbacks from 2017 uh, and 2018 crash, but um, that's just that I just... I'm currently what I'm doing is I'm looking at projects and even if we are here okay and it's going to go up of course I can make some good money here also yeah but what I'm doing is I'm looking at the more long term what's to come because after this the bear market is going to be as brutal as it was even though the adoption whatever it is there's going to be bear markets okay but this time I'm just going to learn from this whole period second time and just watch and learn and then in this bear market I'm going to see what kind of companies have done done good job in since 20 like 17 as I've been in cryptocurrencies and now I have many years of data behind behind me and I think that I can make good decisions here at least I need and I need only to make one good decision here uh, in the next bear market I think and yeah and like for example if somebody would have been in cryptocurrencies since like 2014 and they knew that the uh, uh, exchanges were a ga game changer. Crypto think about it. cryptocurrencies before like huge ex exchanges. It was it was random. It was very random. But as soon as Binance came out, if you would have been getting cryptocurrencies before Binance, you would understand that Binance was a freaking game changer. So you could have invested in Binance in like no time. Okay, because when it came here, it was like yeah, this is it. Like. Because we've been struggling to buy these cryptocurrencies, but now Binance, we can just do it easily. Yeah, I'm just going to invest in all this. So think about it. Yeah, like th those guys have made so much money. And I know there's so a couple of those smart guys here. So I think that we have the opportunity here to uh, get the knowledge now and la using the best bear market and do a crazy, uh, crazy like uh, investing spree on the next bear market. Okay. And I think that even though um wherever the case we are in the bull market it's there's a lot of there's not that much uh, a margin of safety here if you if you if you really think about it. anyway i just uh, I'm, I'm just getting all over the place i just think that that was very important to say and but anyway here's the technical analysis for magic and yeah i just don't have confidence to be in magic because i think that i don't know enough of it here you can see the uh, stats here. I think that neutral, almost bullish, very, very good, very good. There has been so much hype around Magic, so much, so much stuff. But I'm not currently in that type of stuff. I'm in the next, like, kind of like, a, I'm trying to look at the, like, a next move. Because on the next moves, you can buy something very cheap now. And because you are so ahead of the next move. If you can be very ahead of the next move, and you can kind of see it. Like, think about crypto punks, guys. Think about crypto punks. Some 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 guy was buying crypto punks. He bought like twelve crypto punks for like thirty thousand dollars, and then he sold two of them for nine million dollars. <laughs> think about, it, guys. Like, that's next level play. That's a next level play. Not like a like. Look at that. That's a next level play. Like, Jesus. 
both CryptoPunks, very OG, like underground stuff, CryptoPunks, and nobody would like, like even imagine that would happen. But this guy knew. He knew he was so ahead of his time, and <laughs> he would just dip thirty thousand dollars there and then sold. It's great. That's crazy opportunity to me. That's crazy. And there's, I think that there's those that kind of gems here to be found. I think. But of course, look at here. Mat investing in Matic versus Bitcoin, you would have made five thousand five hundred percent gains. Look at that. Ver this is the this Bitcoin and this Matic. Look at that. So, guys, who have been on Matic. For years now, just congratulations, guys. You you don't totally deserve it. Here you can see more about uh, uh, more stuff here. But anyway, so that's going to be the uh, data here that we're going to check out. So 66% summary. Uh, summary. Uh, so the price prediction for Matic. I think that the most bearish scenario is that um, Matic just dips back to 20 cents. I think that that's just that's the most bearish scenario. 30, yeah, yeah, if it dips to like 30 cents, I think that, yeah, 30 to 20 cents, that's the most bearish for for March. I think that the most likely scenario, I think that Matic just slowly price, like increasing price to like $1 or something like that. I think that, that I, I can I can see that happening as more people start to realize what Matic is and start researching it more. And and it's it also has very good liquidity. It's, it's on many exchanges, so I can, it's like easy for people to buy. People really look easy routes. Um, and also, uh, for the very bullish scenario, I would say that anything over one, like anything, if it's going, I think that this mat is going to, to, to go one dollar, it's going to just fly. Okay. But anyway, that, uh, but it all uh, depends on what Bitcoin is going to do this in March. I think that st Bitcoin still like is the, is the head of the cryptocurrency. It's just, Everything just dances to its its pipe song, okay? But anyway, that's going to be the price prediction. Be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. Also, like this video, that would help me so much. Check out the token metrics, link it uh, in description. And see if you like it, you can check out the free trial. Yeah, or I also say free trial, it's, it's not free. It's like $1, something like $2, something like that. But anyway, check it out and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos, guys.